Welcome back to episode four of Living on a Raft and Arc Primal Chaos, which is one of the most difficult mods ever. I'm stuck on my chair. I just lost all whimsical beauty. Okay, first things first, we need an elemental creature. We need something that just shoots lightning out of its butt, you know? That just sounds great. So the issue is to make an elemental kibble. It's not Savaroot, because we do have potatoes up on the... Oh, shoot. I forgot this is grow when we're not online. Okay, so that's going to take... Okay, it's a growth link, but it's turned up pretty high on the server. So within an hour, we'll have a bunch of potatoes. In the meantime, what we got to do to advance ourselves, and I was looking at these freaking darts, these elemental train darts. They look fancy as all hell, but we only have a little bit of elemental blood. It's it's pretty hard to get alpha train darts sound right down my alley. We have 168 ingots already. We don't have any alpha narcotics. We got to use our blood sparingly, I figure. I will cook up some rifle ammo. This little angling of the boat is driving me nuts, but I just don't know what else to do about it. I don't want to accidentally make such a big and epic land base that I stop coming to the boat. I was so invested in the boat, but then now, <laughs> now I'm kind of getting sick of the boat. I don't know, dude. My, my ADD is going to be the absolute death of me at some point. Last week, this is all I wanted to do with my life. This week, I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of sick of the boat, but it, like... I guess now that I don't love it as much, I feel more secure taking it around the map so now we can actually take it on adventures. Yeah, okay. All right, that's what it should have been for the whole time. Weirdo. I was getting way too attached to this damn boat, dude. I like didn't want to risk it getting damaged. Like it's it's a freaking boat, Johnny, but it's my boat. <laughs> no, no, I'm still dedicated. Okay, yeah, we can only make 11 of these darts, which is pretty good, but I'd like a lot more. So let's go get some alpha blood while those potatoes grow. Make a rifle for this. I'm not even going to equip this because I don't even want to use it. I want to use it for whatever creature we use for elemental stuff. But we have that one thing where if we die, we can recover our stuff easily. So I will carry it on because what if we see like a once in a lifetime thing? Luckily, there's Alpha Dota's galore down here. I am concerned about the Jupoa. Kind of stupid or stuff to live in fear of that thing. I guess it's good. It's good to live in fear. So you keep, I, these models run away from me every damn time. Watch out for the turkey, though. Son of a... This thing loses aggro so quick on us. Just the die, though. What a goober. Even the Parasaur target's better. The die, though, is broken in every which way, and I'm going to exploit the hell out of it. See? Even the Lystro's more pissed. You guys defend yourself better than it did. Maybe it's, like, some kind of legendary thing. Well, it is literally a legendary, you jack... Everything on this beast is either an alpha or a beta. So much infinite farming off these goobers. And just like that, we're done with this piece of crap crossbow. Actually, we need way better everything. I've been neglecting that aspect majorly. I just feel like mods are so powerful, I lose hope. Like, I'm like, why? Why go out of my way to be fancy when they're just gonna one-shot me? But I don't think they do in this. I think I'm just severely damaged from docks. And now I don't trust anything. No, I needed this. Oh, it was a man. Okay. I thought that was one of my egg layers. They seem to just lay way more eggs when they're wild. See? This is what I'm talking about. What are those potatoes are doing? I'll get a little more stuff while we're at it. We haven't found another. I guess we can't stop till we get a freaking alpha egg, dude. What are you? Oh, I thought you were like some sort of amazing thing. I'm going to carry you away from your family. Damn, dude, I just flew to the desert. I didn't even mean to do it. This thing's just super fast. Well, while we're here, we might as well look around a little bit. Magnificent, aren't they? Dinosaurs. That gray one is spectacular. They're gonna die probably because that's a beta track they're going up against. It's a damn shame. It's a damn, damn shame. What's everyone doing over here? This one's just fighting regular tracks. My opportunity. How much do you weigh, giant bug? 1.5k. I don't even have the stuff to tame it with it on me, though. Damn, it's just so pretty. It's not for right now, Johnny. Oh, there's a dead one on the floor. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Okay, you need to get your crap together, Johnny. You can't be doing stupid stuff like that. What are you doing? Santa Maria. I forgot I made the... Cr I forgot... I, not Santa... Not... not. What am I... What the hell did I just say? I forgot I added a, another Animal Traps mod to this server, too, that I really wanted to... That would have been super relevant before going on this adventure. I was looking for health potions in my Ingrams to make one for this guy, but then I saw something far better. Now, where are we? Okay. Oh, yeah. Alpha eggs. Damn it. <laughs> There's so many things. Also, this island looks spectacular. 
Last time I tried flying into it, I think it stopped me, but it looks like you could go to it. But that's, that's, that's a quest for another day. We actually don't have a single alpha egg. We're more screwed than I thought. Okay, so perhaps, I, I mean, I should go tame some freaking uh, seed to make demonic kibble. You don't even need two alpha eggs. But where they get you is you need a legendary egg. So there's there, and nightmare blood. There's always a twist. Okay, right here, the animal traps crafting table. This shall be a devious part of our masterminding. Now, do we want to put this on the boat? I feel like it'd be better off of the- I guess the majority of our resources are on the boat, though. I guess we could just have two and eventually have one up there. Ooh, I do not like this. I- I should have seen this coming. We're completely at capacity for stuff. Oh, man, no matter where I put this, I'm gonna end up screwing myself over a little bit. It's just in the way. It just is. Okay, I'll put it here, but I'm not happy about it. Oh, I can't walk by here. Oh, my God. I guess this is a pretty, like, in-the-office style table. We may just have to get rid of the... But I like looking like an alcoholic sailor. Johnny, grow up, man. Plus, there's nowhere else to put it. Okay, it's going. No! <laughs> it's fine. If we move the chair, we can still be pretty... In fact, now we look like a legit businessman, if anything. Plus, we can still put the bottles all around it. You cannot stop the alcoholism, either. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, cool, dude. How cool this life is. Just like working on his projects, drinking himself in a cystic fibrosis while he looks upon beautiful pink pharaoxes outside the window. Gorgeous, gorgeous world we've created. All right, so there's only the medium trap thus far, which is weird. Is there others? There's the small wooden animal trap, the small animal trap, large animal trap, underwater trap, sky animal trap, that's crazy. Damn it, I don't even, that's, these all sound so overwhelmingly awesome. They also look pretty expensive, it would appear. But I think we could afford at least the medium wood. Might have to go get some more metal, but we definitely have the electronics just from all those Horizon Zero. What's going on here? Why can't it fit? Oh, sh what'd I do? Oh, it's because the door's open, isn't it? That's what I get for letting you guys breathe a little. Okay, sweet. Won't make that mistake again. Yeah, we got 200 electronics. So that's good. Where's our metal though? It's all over the freaking place. It's so scattered. Okay, we have 1,700 there. We should still have... Actually, this all might be smelted. Damn! How much can you carry, buddy? Because I can hold a lot. You can hold a damn lot. That's amazing. You're perfect. I think for the sake of construction and the boat being more for travel missions and such, I'm going to be unloading and doing all the constructing in the yard over there that we fenced off because we have all those, like, organizing bins and the crane, and it's, it's just perfect. Okay, I'm getting absolute butt scraps amount of metal off these nodes. I want to go to the top of these mountains over here. Just look at that crap, dude. Like, tell me that doesn't look like the most resource rich, especially that ridge over there that kind of goes outward into a Lion King style rock. Oh my God, I can put one of these T-Rexes in a cage. Bam, bam, bro. I figured it all out. I can't, I don't know how to make them still love me. I just posted the last video. So I'm hoping someone comments how I can make them love me, but I know how to cage them. We're rolling up on the Jedi Council. Oh, see, already what I'm looking for. Don't even need to see what's at the top. <laughs> There's no need. Dude, look at this. Look at this mountain. Look at all these rocks rendering it. Holy crap, dude. Whoa! <laughs> there's so many, there's so much, uh, there's so many rocks on the ground. I feel like it adds so much life and texture to this whole place. I'm gonna rob this place blind right now. I'm pretty sure that Alpha Pteranodon can hold just about all of it. That thing's freaking incredible. Doesn't do much attack damage. I can, I can kill Dodos, maybe Parasaurs, but that's about it. But damn, can it carry a lot. I feel like there's supposed to be some enemies up here. They're just, I suppose we should look around a little bit. I always tunnel vision shiny things. I'm doing it really badly right now. But look at this. Oh, there we go. Freaking Fire Wyvern. Okay, yeah. And a miss of Fire Wyvern. It's like a map official one. It's it's special somehow. Oh, yeah, dude, because it looks weird as hell. That's how it's special. Not like weird, but like it's it's different. It's not an Arc Wyvern. It's, it's a whole other animal. Look at that sucker. I want to tame it. Only got 8.2k Torpor. Shoot! Why did I make a big point of leaving everything at home? I did not think I'd find mystical dragons atop golden palaces on a little metal adventure, to be honest. Kind of caught me off guard there with the beauty. I think I'm gonna come back for that wyvern. Pretty snazzy. I love mining for these fancy ascended crystals in my little Indiana Jones gear, bro. I feel so official right now. 
and I'm pretty sure a god lives in here. I don't think you can get in there. It's just like, but you can't mine it either, though. I feel like Jonathan from The Mummy would totally try to steal this. Jonathan from The Mummy is a piece of sh**, but I love him. Oh man, a poison wire, but it's a missa. Please, for the love of God, don't launch me off. <laughs> I thought it was gonna. They look beautiful. Any valuable resources down there? No. Well, nothing that's not up here. I love their cool devil horns on their face. They're not very strong though. I feel like we could kill them just with you, buddy. That's probably also just because there's some low level ones. Okay, so let's just get as much metal as it's about half full. I guess so the pickaxe breaks. Oh, there's these guys. These are the guys I want to tame. I didn't realize they were in every wooded area. I thought they were just in the redwoods. Oof, and there's an alpha Carnotaurus, but you're a vanilla alpha. Oh no, it's a regular like arc or chaos, chaos alpha. Woof! Never mind, it's a volcanic death worm. I was gonna. I want his alpha blood though. And they lose aggro so quickly. And that one's only level 10, so he's gonna die quick. But that legendary Dilo is. Actually, we should probably kill the legendary Dilo also. No, no, no! 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 Fight down for a little You stole my. F you son of a. F no! Alright, the forest is cleared. Whoa, dude. What a trippy water area. Anything special about these beta piranha? What about this one? A hydro piranha. I want that one so bad, dude. I just want any sort of piranha with like abilities. This one's just a regular fish. But just imagine having those little suckers like following you around anywhere you go in the water. I guess the hydro one's kind of stupid. If we could get a bunch of electric ones, I guess just all elementals. Some volcanics, electrics, and hydros. So you just hit them with like all elemental powers at once. We came, we destroyed, we conquered. I guess we don't need fancy forges at that base. That's just the industrial spots. The rustic themed beautiful furniture can be saved for the boat. This is where the ladies will be taken anyways. The love raft. This boat needs a name so bad, dude. So you don't need to make a rustic forge, which are expensive as all hell, I'm pretty sure. What we really need is a uranium forge, but we don't have, I guess we, we could make the forge just off organic poly, but we wouldn't be able to do anything past that. Actually, you're really not that much more expensive, are you? You're just a lot more stone because you're bigger. Damn it, it is beautiful and more scenic. I'll just add it. Why not? Why not have a beautiful forge? Actually, we're going to need two of them. You know what we actually also need? Where is it? Ooh, beta health potion. That's probably the first one. We should have made that a while ago. I see that now. I forgot. Oh, damn, small wooden trap. Why didn't I make this? That's amazing. We need two of these. We need one at each of our bases. Obviously. Can't imagine how we've been able to get this far in life without them. Now, I'm assuming when you ring these, they make a big bell noise. Okay, but I cannot be placed on platform. Are you trying to tell me that it cannot be placed on a platform? Because that, sir, would be disheartening. I guess I'll try that more later. I feel like I was doing something a minute ago and I dropped it. Actually, in addition to taming some rather epic stuff, we need to get started on our gatherers because these are incredible. Very, very expensive, but absolutely incredible. Balloon honey baits for trapping? Why would it, it not just automatically include that? I guess it's different. What else am I not seeing? Are there, is there other baits? There is so much content to freaking unravel and I can't even find what I'm looking for. Actually, there's parts of the Godzilla mod we can craft, but we can't even start that yet until um, we have enough elements to craft the, the Godzilla Karn. Godzilla Cone, which is the thing used to make all Godzilla items. Even the ones we can't afford. I guess I should have put on that nice armor already. I got distracted. I got goals right now. I don't want to take all of our metal because we're going to need it. I'll take some of it. Also, let's create some more alpha narcotics to make more darts, more alpha darts. Because when we do see something awesome, I want to have the cage ready and I want to have the darts ready. I want to have everything as ready as possible. It shall be glorious! But it's, it's, it's crazy. We need to actually just to get to the point where we can go kill because there's so many alpha brontos and they drop, they drop hundreds of blood. Oh, I clicked out of arc. They drop so much blood. That's, that's where the- Whoa, 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 cancel! I forgot I need to repair my tools. I'm going to take half of the elemental blood we have currently. And I'm going to smelt it into ingots. And I'm going to use the other half of the elemental blood. Yeah, see, alpha train darts are eight times stronger than a normal dart. So these ones are 12 times stronger than a normal dart. They're, they're going to come in a lot of handy. This is 
gonna feel so awesome when I get to walk up to my crane with 10 bajillion resources in my inventory and click deposits. I'm gonna feel like such a baller in five seconds. Actually, do we have anywhere for... Darn it, dude, I forgot everything but the actual table to craft the uh, cages on. All right, deposits. That was awesome. That was a peak cinematic moment in my life right there. All right, let's go check on our pile. They should be rather updated. Okay, that's not good though, because the wood bin doesn't show that it has any wood in it. Do I have multiple wood bins? I don't think I do. I think my wood just got like deleted into the universe. Like we just lost like... No, that can't have happened. That'd be ridiculous. Although it's looking like that's what happened. Where's my wood, you criminal? Is this it? Is this it on the thing? <laughs> is, is that my damn wood? What's going on here? Okay, so everything shows zero wood, which is concerning. And also there's... Does, does that mean that... And that I... <sighs> Where, where's my damn wood, bro? Whatever, I'm still a cowboy riding my pteranodon into the sunrise, and you can't take that from me. Besides, we don't really even need uh, wood for the for the cages anyways. But we do need electronics, so get over here and die, little robot. All right, welcome back. I just did some work. I ate a long, big sandwich. I don't know why the length of my sandwich was special. That sounds like I secretly just went and made love to a dude, and I'm disguising it as... I swear it was just a sandwich. It's been about an hour, though. I did a little bit of work off camera. Just basically this. We have this beta over there. I got so freaking sick of waiting for alpha eggs, dude, because this is, like, legit two hours later. I got so sick of the egg thing, though. I just went and said, screw it, and, like, turned up egg raising as quick as I... Po or as fast as it could possibly be on the server, though. So that issue is a thing of the past. God, this bandana. I know cowboys wore bandanas, and they're used for covering... When you put it over your mouth, you look like a gangster. But when a bandana is down, you just look like the zestiest fella, I swear. Look like I'm about to skip to the candy store. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay, so before I turned up breeding a bunch, I did try taming a few more female donors just to kind of get a little bit of a farm going. That is when I noticed how absolutely absurd the breeding rates in this server was because even these test testicle ticklers, I stuttered. We're taking like 23 hours to have kids. It was crazy. So we super blasted it and now they spat out like 20 kids. So we had 20 alpha eggs or 13 alpha eggs, I think, which I used to make elemental kibble back over here. No! I flew back too fast. These damn alpha pteranodons. Someone told me I need to upgrade my PC. That's why this is happening. I said, dude, I'm on a 4090 right now. I don't know what else I could even add to this. <laughs> I freaking love it. I was, I was really messing with the idea of moving stuff more seriously over to the other base. Did my things take damage? No, it's just rendering it still. Yeah, dude, someone was saying I need to upgrade my computer. And I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. This, this should be running. It is running pretty damn smooth, actually. It's just uh, the textures. First things first, a man needs his bird. I'd prefer a parrot, but whatever. I mean, it's, it's it's fine. Okay, so I crafted this right here, these small wooden animal traps so we could attempt its, uh, we, I just use it basically. We can see how it works. I did make some freaking alpha health potions, which are pretty easy to make. Like they're a basic, very standard recipe. So you didn't really miss much there. What else did I do? Hang on, I used, okay. So we still have three alpha eggs left over. The ones they were making were unfertilized, which would be concerning, but I tested it and you can still make kibble with unfertilized ones. And I'm not gonna hatch the damn birds, so I don't care if they're unfertilized. Also, the Brontos are spitting out eggs a bunch more too now, so now we get to make a lot more exceptional kibble. It's just gonna be great all across the board. But already I did make five elemental kibble just for us to use today on something, but we needed something big to make the taming of that more epic. I like to make everything as ridiculous as possible. And I'm pretty sure we now have enough for the large animal trap, which I think is going to be giamongous, dude. We also have enough for the underwater trap, but I haven't seen anything crazy in the water. I haven't seen anything crazy on land, but there's bound to be something. I'm yapping my face off right now, but it's a it's a big cage. Plus, this the sky animal trap. We could... No, 1250 poly sucked my balls. Freaking um. But, like, down the line, that'd be cool. So, yeah, we've got some 200 pounds. You bastard, bro. You can't even move with it. Damn it. Okay, so we got a dump a lot of stuff. Let's just go to shore really quick and test out the wooden cage so we can see the workings of it. I remember I, I one of my survival series with Crisco that lasted like an episode. We had this wooden cage, but we didn't really use it or test it. We just died nonstop with it to a freaking alpha dodo. Super fun. <laughs> Super good time. Okay, so this is the... See, this is small. So the big cage has got to be like freaking huge, like for capturing sauropods. 
and then you just gotta like get them in there. Oh damn, actually that's super useful. Wow, I thought like usually these mods, there's like invisible meshing here that you can't get through, but this, this is actually the greatest. <laughs> this is gonna be so easy. All right, and then to trigger it, you activate the trap and then you run through the grass and when the grass breaks, the trap closes. Holy crap, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God, I'm so in love with this. And then you just freaking open it back up and you can easily shoot through the gates too. Wow, this is gonna be so awesome right here. Damn, dude. Wait, I didn't set the trap. Okay, you don't, don't be a silly use with it. I can't wait to put this thing to work. All right, now the big trap is probably the coolest thing on the damn planet. How much can we carry? 360? So you should have dumped the majority of our stuff. Well, luckily there are Tyranodons and Beasts, so we can just keep everything on this dude. Ooh, this is exciting. Now, I wonder if they're going to attack and destroy the cage. I guess that's why you want the big metal cage. Okay, let's go test that one out real quick before we end. I guess you can just hold on to this one, huh? Sweet! Right into the fire. I fall into the fire every damn time, and it's making that cooking pot an issue. Man, I wish you could access this table while you're, while you're doing your stuff. It's such a cool table. Cause it's got the cages on it, bros cooking. Okay, we can carry this, nice. Okay, this place looks good for testing. How big? Okay, so it's not cartoonishly big, but it's reasonably jimongous, and it's made out of metal, preferably. Er, luckily, additionally. There's really no need to add words to that, dude. Actually, the size of this is huge. Okay, so this is perfect. All right, let's activate it. This cage is huge, though, dude. We're not really quick enough to, like, <laughs> get to the other side as quick as I'd like to be. Okay, so you run in here. Run through here. Do you just run through this and then it activates? It's like a force field. Okay, sweet. Oh, I like that. This one uses a force field. The more primitive one uses plants. It all adapts with the technology. Okay, I like this. We could do a lot of stuff right now with what we've got. We've got a crazy trap that can hold anything. We've got a bunch of elemental cable and we've got a bunch of darts. All right, now we go where the dinosaurs are big and the women are angry. The women are big and the dinosaurs are angry. Either way, it's a win-win. Look at this little castle down here. I, I spit on it every time I fly over it for the treacherous like hour or two of nonsense, which is weird because the beach is so easy to get to now. It was it was so difficult to get to at first. Like I, I swear to God, there was like four gigas everywhere I went, and now it's just like peace the whole way there. It's so insulting. See, we could use it. To, I guess we still need. We could use it to tame a T Rex, like one of the Rexes we failed at yesterday. But I guess that could actually be pretty sweet, but I don't know. I feel like I want to get something right now that actually gets us farther in the series. Those things are beautiful, but they're dying to everything. We need something that's actually like a primal chaos. Like this volcanic death worm would be awesome, but I, I, there's just no way. Dude, he literally just takes elemental kibble though. Okay, but he's got 140k torpor. That's the, that's the complicated part. Because like I have 58 of these alpha tranks, which are good, but I only have nine of the elementals. And he's elemental. It's, it's, you know what I mean? We got all the time in the world. No, I do want to beat this series in like a month though. There's, there's so much stuff I have to do in arc. What's cool is we can fit like this mythic Bronto into it. Actually, I don't know if it's that big. I don't know. I feel like it is, but at the same time, these guys are jimongous. Okay, now we're talking an electric T-Rex. It is only level 60 though. There's a regular T-Rex here, but he's only level 20. A fairy Argentavis. Damn it. I feel like this is probably the best bet we got going on right now. I could look farther, but we're gonna get into this uneven ground. This is like the one patch of grass. That's so flat. It reminds me of like medieval times. Like this is such medieval, I don't know, terrain, I feel like. I'm gonna go for it, specifically because he's in this freaking large area, which is just so perfect. Okay, also we could probably bait him completely on Gringo because the walls are so big. I put it backwards, damn it, dude. Wait, no, I didn't. You stupid, <laughs> you stupid idiot, man. What's the matter with you? I get anxious, bro. It's, it's very anxious recording these videos. You make mistakes. All right, handsome. They lose aggro really quick to flying stuff. I wonder if that's like hard to mod specifically. I forgot to open the trap. Well, that's, oh, he's already walking into it. No way. Oh, he was like about to? Did I activate it? I didn't activate it, dude. The responsibilities, man. Okay. Now it's activated. Now it's foolproof. All right, come over here, buddy. They have like a weird time aggroing on the flying stuff. But as soon as you land, they're on your nuts. 
Yeah, he's coming back. All right. This time it's golden. I don't see any way this could possibly go wrong. Come on in, buddy. Yes. 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 No. Oh, yes. <laughs> thought he was going to walk right under it. Dude, these traps are awesome. This is game changing. And now he's just subject to taming right there. Nice. He does have 70,000 torpor. But these alpha darts do two each. I guess he's not really endgame, is he? He's just an elemental T-Rex. There's like fairies and demonic and all that crazy stuff. Plus, he's only level 60. But he's beautiful for now. I'm not going to waste any elemental darts on him right now, though. You're not good enough for those. Wow, this cage is so OP and ridiculous. But at the same time, there's like hoverboards and jetpacks in this game. You're telling me we wouldn't manage this kind of technology? I wonder if I should keep this here. No, I'm going to keep this on a... I'm gonna keep this on Gringo, absolutely. Wow, this music is deafening. I was about to say this place seems way more bare than it does than it did yesterday, and then I saw a bear, and then I just kind of brain farted. But it's going smooth. There's so many raptors and sabers here yesterday, and now there's just like nothing. I I honestly just probably think the T-Rex killed him. Poor fella's done giving up on life. He's trying to escape the cage. No longer aggro. He's beautiful though. Something about electricity. It's just like the most like awesome element of them all. Like they knew what they were doing in Star Wars. They could have given the Sith like fire breath. I guess that's cool in Avatar, but electricity is just so great. I'm so happy this thing is safe from big stuff wandering into here and killing it once it's down. It's just so much more relaxing. It's not even like fun to play when it's all stressful. <laughs> when everything you're taming keeps dying over and over and over again. All right, buddy. So weird. All right, where's Gringo? Got to keep you safe. Although Gringo's a freaking survivor, dude. This guy's dealt with so much crap. He's gotten so near death, like, so many times. T-Rexes are just so great. I know it's so cliche to have a T-Rex as your favorite dinosaur. Cause it's like everyone's favorite dinosaur, but it's just, it's, it's just so easily my favorite dinosaur. Still, even if they don't even look like this at all anymore. Got you need a saddle for T-Rexes. Well, that's what this is for. All right, and then we should still take the cage. Just because you could hold it so easy. Plus, you never know what we're gonna see on the road. I don't know why the hell we wouldn't take the cage. What am I talking about? Damn, I do wonder though, just like while we're here, if I could just plop this little turd into a... Into a cage too, you know what I'm saying? Who's fire, 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 oh God, fire. Holy crap! Stay low! Stay low, Johnny! <laughs> Stay low! Okay, okay. Uh, Gringo's super weak. Let's just get back to base. That's crazy, bro. You have a schmidgem of health right there. Once I'm telling you, Gringo is a survivor. If you freaking land even on the fire for a second. You jackass, you have health potions. You know what it is? I panicked. What is what it is? Oh, there goes all his health back. He is a survivor. That's what I'm talking about. He's like those women in country songs. Like, I'm a survivor. I was like, I don't know. I, 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 shut up. Way to over after. It's not looking good for you, buddy. In fact, I think I've made the decision to end your life just now. You are beautiful, but you're, you're, just, you're just a beta. And ultimately, we don't even need eggs anymore because, um, because, well, we have everything turned up so much now. Look at the pretty flowers, buddy. That's how I want to go out. Gringo, pass me my good hacking axe. What's nice is we can still take these over raptor thing or like these uh these piece these these soul fragments to once again resurrect them, but now it's just building up to just a bunch of creatures we've killed on the boat. But you gotta keep things flowing. We only need a bird. He doesn't need a name. Honestly, this dodo's got like hints of gold in its wings. This is gonna be hard to hard to replace. Like he's or she's that uh, dodo's probably here for good. Alright, what was I doing? I get way too into this pirate thing. Also, I did expand the base a little bit to add a fabricator right here. This is when I made the decision that moving up there wasn't 100% for me. I'm still I'm still pretty glued to the boat life, and the fabricator fits in pretty well. I am worried about expanding the boat beyond, like, our limits, and then us just being super exposed if we ever get ran up on on the road, but I don't know. I think maybe next we should focus on a crazy sea monster, like an electric moza or something like that that could fall or just an army of electric piranhas that could swim underneath us yeah dude that'd be sweet 
Okay, also there's this one mod I've been waiting to spawn for freaking ever. Also, this guy needs name suggestions. I'm like really dedicated to this. Like I'm still looking for boat names. Like, so like if you got one. But one thing I wanted to say, 60,000 health at level 90. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. God, that cage is so great. All right, let's go level this guy for a bit. Slaughter what we can. There's this one dragon though. I've been wanting to see for weeks. I added the mod so long ago and I haven't seen it whatsoever. And it's really bumming me out. I wanted to see it a while ago. So I kind of want to spawn it in and see if we can defeat it with the T-Rex. Because the only way to even tame it is to defeat it in battle. Or I guess get into a certain damage or health and then it drops an egg and you have to raise the egg. I kind of want to do it because like you don't even it's not even like I guess it is cheating But it'd just be really cool and I don't think it's gonna spawn otherwise You guys are gonna go a whole survival series without seeing this awesome dragon just because it won't spawn That doesn't seem very fair to you guys here. I gotta do it for you guys. This is for you But first let's go rampage and see what this guy can do Dude the electricity coming off of that is just the bee's knees It needs an electricity related name like, uh, is it a chick or a dude? I forgot. Okay, so an electric woman name. Storm? Ooh, that's pretty good. I feel like there's gotta be more than one woman in media who is involved with electricity than Storm, though. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we always name him Storm, but if there isn't, she's still a legend. That's still an amazing name. We have these health potions, though, so do we even have anything necessarily to fear right now? I guess if we run into, like, a volcanic or a demonic, but there ain't none of those in these woods right now. Whoa, that electricity just spread like crazy. That's awesome. You know what? That freaking fairy bow over there. I can kill that for sure. Oh my God, finally away. Hang on, I'll come back for this turtle. It's not going anywhere. These bows must die. Yes, moment of truth. Oh, it's so gratifying, dude. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sick of these damn things. Where are you going? Someone's biting my feet right now. Little do they know I'm into that. Damn, dude, this affliction, this lifesteal. And down you don't bite it. No, uh, I should just harvest it. We didn't even get any fairy stuff off that. We just like got the sweet gratification of murder, which is still pretty great. We also didn't level up off that Jirbella. Damn, it's like tough to level these things up. Usually once you first tame them, you get like a bunch of levels so easy. But I think I raised the difficulty so much that now we're feeling the burn. Whoop, there's the freaking demonic. Get out of here, 1.1 million health. I don't think so. You know, this is easier. You're taking forever. We have grapples. Okay. So you guys make some babies so we can go make some kibble and get that turtle. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that, that caught me so off guard, bro. All right, you, you magnificent creature. You're coming with me. Okay, so we jump off, place this. Yes. Right in the direction he's coming for. Activate the trap. Ah! What the hell? What is that? What is that, bro? What is that? Oh, it's the freaking death worm. That's what they sound like. Good God. Come on in, buddy. God, these traps are just the greatest thing in the world, man. And now you're in here. And now you can't go anywhere. It's just the best. It is biting the trap. No! No! Chill out, buddy. Damn. We don't need that trap. It's okay if he breaks it. It's got 20,000 health. It's gonna take him a minute to eat through it. This other turtle, however, has got the beef. All right, he's asleep and you shall be shortly. I really thought that last one would get it. Dude, I really thought that was the end of us right there. That noise was terrifying. All right, sweets and you for good measure. Hold still. We still have two more SCS collection containers. So that's useful. So you're coming with us. We now have our first aquatic creature. Which does, is useless. Shoot. We can't pick it up. It's too damaged. All right, it'll stay here for now. She's useless in combat, but when it comes to making aquatic eggs, ooh, that freaking dialogue is about to be right there. She will come in great handy. Boom! Wow, we got out of there right in time, man. Right in time. Holy crap. Are these fertilized? Dude, you gotta freaking turn that thing off. It's not even on. You're an issue. I'm putting you in here. The egg laying giveth and the egg laying taketh away. Okay, sweet. And there's our turtle. Nice. I guess we don't even need a male. We can just let her just drop them naturally like this one's doing. So that's a big load off my mind. 
Okay, it's time for the dragon. There's nothing else I want to do more than I just grinded for so long. I deserve it. I deserve an epic dragon battle. I'm going to go fly off and freaking spawn that thing in. And then we fight it on the T-Rex. And it's going to be glorious. Or everything is going to go terrible. Even if we lose the Rex. Actually, the Rex is a female too. We can just have her make eggs also. Damn it. We'll like maybe crap some out while we're chilling here. You know, like in the meantime. I guess we could get another... I see electric females all the time. It's just not... T-Rex ones, but I don't know. I think it's worth it. One thing, though, let's make sure you got full of health just going into this. I feel like we should have saved that, but I don't know. It's really just about because the dragon's more for vanilla stuff, and this is Primal Chaos. I feel like it'll do good. Okay, the deed is done. First, we gotta fill up our canteen down by the water because get thirsty as hell around here. I feel like I should have hunted more Jerboas. Now that I, now that it, let's go about to go down, I feel like we should have hunted more Jerboas. But like to level up more, the uh, the dragon is level 150. It's like a boss dragon thing, which I guess makes it like much more difficult to spawn. Is why we're not seeing one. I don't know. It's supposed to take Quetzalodocus spawns, but I've. I've seen numerous Quetzalodocus over the last few weeks since we started this, and I haven't yet seen the dragon. So it's to the point where we gotta just get it in here. And it looks pretty great. Okay, so we got the Hydro Guardian boss over here. We're gonna avoid, like, a herpes-ridden toilet seats. I love that warning music so much. It's just like PTSD. It triggers something in you. So that's, like, one of the main things we have to kill. I was looking through the boss list on the mod page and uh, the the mega 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 boss after the wardens just seems like absolute I, I don't know any chance that we're ever gonna destroy that thing i just don't see it happening all right it's up ahead the creature has its own beautiful isle it exists upon it also seems rather inactive unless triggered by a human oh he's just walking around chilling like any other creature all right ember claw defender of the realm 125,000 health but we have electricity powers and health potions. Little can be done with that. All right, you bastard. Get it on. We got the first shot. That guarantees victory. Not the fastest flyer, are we? Freaking beautiful, though. He's lost aggro. That poor creature. All right, let's get him. Whoop. We are on a lot of fire, but he's lost a good deal of health already. He's losing health quicker than we are. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dude, we are burning. Thank God the player can't burn off the top of this creature. We'd be so screwed right now. Wow, that is some crazy looking fire. Like that is fire fire. That's legitimately hot fire. We're tanking it, bro. When do you drop that egg? Unhand me, beast. I don't want to accidentally get it too low. Wait. Oh, there we go. I'm going to activate a health potion just in case. Because I'm not losing my freaking T-Rex. Just busted my buns for this thing for like four hours. It should be just about... I think you only have to get it like 30% lower health or 35 or around there. But I don't know. It doesn't seem to be the result. He's resilient. You're supposed to have dropped an egg, buddy. Where's your egg? I don't want to kill you. I want the egg. Damn, dude. We are viciously on fire. If I was like vanilla right now and not freaking primal chaos, I'd be so terrified. I also don't want to kill it. What if we kill it? It doesn't drop an egg. Or what if the egg's in the bushes somewhere? I'm so happy that we can't get burnt off this damn dragon right now. <laughs> I'm so happy that this doesn't affect the player. I sure hope after this video that it doesn't... Emberclaw seems to have dropped something. Emberclaw is getting desperate while trying to protect its egg. Poor creature. I just feel bad for this beautiful thing. It's a mother. It's just protecting its young. Just leave. You can make another. She would legit have us at about lower than half health right now if I wasn't equipped with health potions. I'm so sorry, Emberclaw. It's only because of your extreme beauty that you're hunted and chosen for death. Also, you could just leave. I don't have to kill you. Wow, she's actually doing a lot of damage. Whoop! Health potions are so cheaty. <laughs> oh, God! I bet anyone in any sort of more vanilla world would have such a difficult time with this amazing spectacle of a creature. It's actually really powerful. 
but this way we get to level up off of it, which sounds pretty good to me, man. And down it goes. Oh, what the hell? And down it goes. Poor beautiful creature. Dude, we are, look at that fire. Ascended fire is crazy. We better eat it so the child doesn't get confused and mistake it for its mother. We are your mother now, little. It's freezing. Oh, it's fine. It is too cold, but it's fine. A beautiful dragon egg. You won't be very useful in the primal chaos, grand scheme of things, or with Godzilla hunting or much things such as those. But when it comes to looking beautiful, then yeah, we're set. I am but a collector of rare and exotic creatures. That is Cliff. I've got no beef with you, Warden. I have no quorums with your people. Although you, we could kill. We gotta do it. We gotta freaking balls to the walls. We gotta start killing more rare stuff. This Rex is crazy powerful, dude. I guess this is only a legendary, and legendary is probably under elementals. It's gotta be. This is the way it's above. Because they don't even have mythical powers like I do. This game is so pretty sometimes. Even when you're looking at a big swagging T-Rex cloaca, it's just beautiful. I'm so happy we can kill these guys now too. What a pain in my butt they have been. Oh, no way. See, there's already another freaking uh, female hydro aquatic turtle over there. Or hydro turtle. There's no need for aquatic. They're all over the place. I guess we only need the one if they're just going to spit out a bunch of eggs like the dodos. I mean, like the uh, the brontos, where they weren't even breeding. They were just, like, doing it naturally. Sweet, though. Okay, I am going to hatch this dragon egg. And if it happens, it's just crime. Let him go, Johnny. Okay. This magnificent fertilized dragon egg. Parents, ember claw, defender of the realm. Damn it! Enough! But yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll hatch that in the next episode for sure. But now we're able to get as much exceptional kibble as we need to. So there's a lot of stuff we gotta get. So yeah, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys want to join the next episode. And I'll see you next time. Peace!